Hey, it's Jeff, and part of my workout program here, I am uh, I'm doing the bod pod. So that's going to measure my body fat. So let's go check that out. The bod pod. Where's the bod pod? Okay, so again, tell me who you are. So I'm Orson. Uh, I'll be running the test today. Okay. Uh, and uh, what we're going to be doing is is taking your body composition and using the bod pod. The bod pod does that with uh, air. Unlike its closest relative, the underwater weighing process, we can now do this with air. Uh, Which one is easy. more efficient? Well, the bod pod is, is clearly it's more efficient. Uh, the accuracy of those two devices statistically are the same. Okay. Uh, and the biggest reason why is they're, they're really the, uh, the same methodology, just using one medium, right. air versus water, and the other technique. So... So for you, what we need to do, we're going to run a quick calibration. Okay. It's going to take us just a couple of minutes. I'll enter in some data. Uh, we'll get your body weight. Uh, and then we'll have you sit inside the pod for two 50-second measurement cycles. Okay. Uh, it's computer controlled. So once that second measurement's done, we'll be able to uh, hit the print button. You'll have your data immediately. Perfect. And uh, we'll give you your percentage of body fat, percentage Great. of lean weight. <laughs> and then there'll be some metabolic information in there, um, which will we'll be able to uh, help you fine tune an eating plan to meet your unique needs. Okay. So, all righty. Cool. So what I do want to show you is this. Your resting metabolic rate, this number right here, your RMR, is 2,081 calories a day. And that's what your body, it's awesome. That's, I mean, that's awesome. That's what your body is requiring per day. Just Why is function. it awesome? Because it's a really high number. Oh, okay. Um, anything, anything above fifteen hundred is awesome. Okay. Um, so if I just there, slept you know, all day, I mean, you have the highest metabolism that I've seen all day. Okay. But basically, this is how many calories you need a day okay. just to live. And any, if you're getting less than that, what will happen is your body will go into starvation mode, okay. where it will want to starve thing as fat, and it won't let you lose weight. Yeah. It just wants to hold on to it because it feels like you're that it's surviving, survival mode. Um, right now your body fat percent is 34.8, so that's pretty high. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Right. But you also have 164 pounds of lean lean mass on you, which is anything but fat. Okay. Um, what we'd like to see through this so competition... So if I was 0% fat, I'd still be 165 pounds. Right. So what we'd like to see happen, this is good numbers because people throw, oh, I want to be 170. Well, that's really not feasible because you have this muscle and you want to hold on to the muscle mm -hmm. um, for a number of reasons, you know, bone strength included. Um, Which I just gained all this over the last financial crisis. <laughs> well, actually a lot of people did <laughs> over the last financial crisis. <laughs> um, so funny. All right, so basically what it's saying here is sedentary. If you led a sedentary lifestyle doing nothing but very, 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 very basics of life, um, you need two, 2,663 cal calories a day to maintain the weight you're at. Okay. Same thing here. If you're low active, 3142 to maintain where you're at. Um, active, which it seems to me like you fall because you're four days a week working out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So your four days a week, so I'm a, I think... I'm a psychopath on the spin class. Psycho on the spin yeah. class. So I think you'd fall more in the active category, um, but it's a daily thing, too. So are you doing? what are you doing on the days you're not in the spin? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I have three days of spin and one day of mountain biking. Okay. And then otherwise, then I feel like my body has to rest sometimes and I have to work. And it does. It does. It needs... Yeah. Um, I always say give yourself one to two rest days a week, but more than two is not really needed. Okay. So one to two rest days a week. Um, so I need to add in at least another day of working out? At least out. another day of working out. Yeah. Two or three pounds a week? Yeah, let's say, uh, so it's eight weeks. Let's say two pounds a week. Okay, so 16 pounds. Plus, I always like to beat it. <laughs> Such a male thing. <laughs> well, we don't like to lose. No. Yeah, girls don't like to lose either. <laughs> no, we don't. So let's say that would be 30. That would be 234.6. Yeah. So that would bring you down to 30. Okay, so I just met with Sarah. Sarah was awesome. Uh, she went over all of my information. I'm 34.8% fat. 
I started thinking about that. When you go to the store, you buy hamburger, which is cow. There's like, is it like less than 8% and like uh, 90 or, or uh, 10 to 20% and then there's 20% or more. So I'm like fatter than a cow, like the cheap hamburger meat. Ah, I got to do something Tuesday. about that. That's the greatest loser challenge, the first meeting. I don't even know what I'm in for. I have no idea. How did I get signed up for this? Michelle! 2010. New year, new you, new visions, new challenges. We created this program basically to help give you a tool that you can use to lose weight, get in better shape, and also, just most of all, so you know what the club, what we have to offer as far as fitness training, things like that, because we want to make sure that this, the village is a place where you, that you can call home and we're a step above the other clubs, so hopefully we uh, feel that. <laughs> hey, how does this program work for you? Okay, first of all, has ever, did everyone get a chance to take their, do their bod pod test? 